morning guys it's friday 23rd of june and this is day three in grenada and i don't think you're seeing me properly and i am actually preparing to go on a tour my husband already gone to his thing and i am going on a tour starting at 8 30 finishing at four we're gonna go check out the chocolate factory then there is the spice market and a waterfall i heard and so much things going on today from 8 30 to 4 and i'm going to record every bit of it so you can see what's happening and that water out there is looking so lovely it's raining but it's amazing out there i haven't gone into the waters yet um we were busy yesterday and the day before well, when we came in on wednesday um we were busy doing other things so hopefully today i will go into the water and i'll show you how beautiful it is sometimes it looks green sometimes it looks blue but it's amazing so join me on this tour starting at 8 30. i have to go downstairs get checked um join the bus the tour bus and then i'm out so guys here we are in the tour bus still at radisson we haven't moved all of us yet but before we do, I just want to give a shout out to each and every one of you guys in that bus. It was a pleasure meeting you. Uh, Barbados, uh, Guyana, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Jamaica, uh, Trinidad and Tobago. It was a pleasure. Tony, Danmar, Nicole, Ariel, yeah, Sion, Vishal. It was a pleasure. That's a good one. There's a lot to show you all today. We're going to go to the waterfall and the deal. Down. That's how they go. So 
that's really the black hole. I'll give you the whole history on that next later on. Let's take some back home. Some of the last you will So guys, this is Annadale Waterfall and we were supposed to visit it that day but because of the storm, there was a storm, it was a really bad day, the weather was terrible, we could not come out to go check it out. So that was off of the, the list of things to do that day. So here we are driving through the rainforest and we are ascending as we go and we're actually going to a lake. I'm not sure if we'll be able to come out because of the, the weather, it's raining a lot. But um, this lake is actually a crater from a volcanic eruption that happened in the country. And they, the crater was there and they actually use it to supply water to parts of the country and um, it's a really huge crater it's a really huge lake and he'll explain a little more on it when we get there Like an hour, there's a trek, you know, a trail, 
you can hide from me and go to Mount Quapo like an hour and a half and then move on to Concord Falls like three hours so we have pretty trails around here I go and hike in myself with tourists yeah. sometimes you see a, a border monkey when it is the only side and got the mono species Barbados and St. Kitts got a uh, green monkey information based on the operation take as much pictures and you also get to sample the product at the end of the nice <laughs> this is all part of the process we're going to get back to more details on that okay So guys, just to let you know up front, um, we will be going into the factory, into the building. But if you notice it being dark, that's because I tried to put as much light inside the video. But um, because of the storm that day, they actually took off all the electricity. So um, that day was kind of bad to do tours, but it was already scheduled and we had to do it. So sorry if uh, some, of the, some parts of the video is a bit dark inside the building because of that. Hey bro! Water PT that the water wheel is not going at this point in time. It, now they would have to release water, and we have a reservoir a little way from here. So once they pull that gate off, the water comes down the aqueduct and turns that wheel. And the turning of the wheel will stop the machine, in which will be able to crush the sugar cane, and that's when the process begins. Mm. So we are all about maintaining that traditional method. Yes. The fact that we have the water wheel, we still have sugar cane crushed. Mm. Rum mostly now is made of molasses and we also use molasses but we will be using that alongside the sugar cane, not by itself. Our main focus is to keep the sugar cane involved in the rum. So we still have sugar cane on this estate which we will be cutting and this goes through year round. So he changed his mind. So we're going to continue on this channel. You're going to get to see us. He's going up to the reservoir. Oh, so wonderful. Yeah. There is enough time to start before lunch break. Yeah? Yeah. So we're going to go under the shed and then once it starts, we're going to get the Can't you? Huh? Can't I got a little waterfall there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the wheel has started. Let me see the wheel. Will itself has stopped turning. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa.
Okay. Being taken up on the conveyor. Right. Watch your step. Okay. 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 following that trend okay. and to hear more about the process while also we can get to use a lot of the remains from the cane which we call the bangas yeah. uh, this can some of it can be used in the fireplace as fuel or some of it can be used back in the soil as a mulch or fertilizer so it's all into good use we may not be able to get rid of everything that is here mm -hmm. because it would not be able to be burnt in the distillation area to fire the boilers that would be burning off too quickly from there the okay. reason we have the wood. We're going to talk more of that a bit later. Okay. Yeah? What's your start? Just started the crushing. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So it yeah. means later on in the day, one would have to be stroking that fire oh. with the use of the bagas as the remains from the sugar cane mm -hmm. stuff.
on or rise. Yes, it is, so you can get to see it. All right, so there, yes. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing in there. Oh. So what's happening in here? No okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. So yes. So what you have seen in there, you have seen it's very active, it's bubbling away. There is no heat attached to it, so this is not boiling. This is just fermenting. Oh, and this okay. is doing it all because of nature. Yes? There is nothing in there, we don't have to put a yeast, there is nothing inside wow. that is causing the circulation. This is just nature doing its thing. Hmm. What's inside is what we'd have earlier talked about, the cane juice after it's collected and heated, it moves into the preparation before it gets to that point added the molasses that is increasing in the volume and we just run this through a pump or pipe and we put this in here and it sits as you're looking at it up until one week until it goes quiet. So when the fermentation is complete there'll be no more movement so it's that's when we know it's done. Or when all of the sugar would have been taken up into our And that's that's rum Not as yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast. So that stage it will be something like a wine. Yes, uh, we still have the distillation to come uh, through. Uh, okay. Yes. So again, this is open and here we choose to keep it as natural as possible. And the reason for you consuming a lot of our product rivers and not getting that hangover because it's so pure, it's so natural, it's so ah. clean. Yes, so there is no yeast added at that point. This is just nature again that is doing its thing. Once all of the sugar is taken up into alcohol, it goes quiet. Uh, if we were to check, we'd only detect something like a 10% alcohol before moving onwards to the distillation process. Okay. So we've got two very active tanks going. Hmm. And then they're all like, oh, animals. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. as it's sugar and all that. You mean because everything is open yeah. and exposed yeah. and. Um, well, for one, this is alcohol, yes? Right. And this has to go through the distillation process. Right. So even though it's open and exposed to whatever bacteria and other sorts of things, that will not be in the bottle of Romadion for sure. Yes? So on the other hand, I just said, this is, could be just like extra protein. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of the sugar cane, this is a year-round operation. Um, the sugar cane could go slightly different based on the time of the year it has been harvested. During the dry season for us, the sugar cane is a lot sweeter and that's most importantly because of the sweetness, the amount of sugar. But um, in the wet season, we have to continue because this is where we have more water. We'll be able to crush a lot more cane in the wet season, but in the dry season, we crush less, but it's a lot sweeter. Mm -hmm. So when you really balance things, it wouldn't be much of a big difference between those two because the amount you have to do in terms of the adjustment to get the concentration in the wet season, you already have that almost in the dry season. Mm. My observation is that um, I'm not going to do good the workers, yeah. you know, health and safety. Um, the machines are rolling, <laughs> they are right close by the other hands are there. <laughs> and um, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit concerned. Well, um, do, do we have any incidents or accidents? Well, we have minor incidents occurring, like everything else. But, I mean, they know the risk, and yes, it stands for your concern, but um, I think they kind of are, they know the risk, so they know how close to get their hands, for example, in that machine. The, the sugar cane, when it goes through, is coming out to you. So I don't think they have to go way in to get through, so their hands should not be getting in there. But, again, accidents do happen. But we are good for now. Thanks. <laughs> I know this would not be happening anywhere else, right? Well,
Oh yeah, feeling some heat. <laughs> yeah. 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 What is So that's where the fire has been fed and the furnace is now open. The guy is putting some of the firewood in there. Oh, let me see. Yeah. There's a fireman. Yes. <laughs> so how hot you said this is? How hot does it get? Hot, yeah? yeah, how hot? 450? Oh. So that's, uh, that's the you just feel it all day, you just feel it. You just feel it. Uh, can I peep inside? Ooh. Oh, wow. And the fact that we're using the wood is the cooking bundle too fast. You want to see? That takes the alcohol from the gas and the back to the liquid and the process of fermentation. So that's where it becomes nice and clean, yeah? Because the fermented juice goes in and boils and just keeps the vapor up, which is the alcohol, and that vapor condenses, and that, that's what that's right. So that's what makes it so nice and clean. So you don't need to go to a gym. Oh, just to start it, so fine. Just to start it, and then this is what you have to do. Yeah. And well, even if then the files, I think um many years ago I should recall that. But um so far I think twenty five years and I think I just have the bad. So this would be starting in the morning sometime this fire starts at could be as early as three four o'clock in the morning and uh, so in total that could be going on like 12 15 hours per day okay but then they shut down they shut down yes and restart again in the morning okay mm -hmm. but it's, it's going to be warm anyhow it will be so the fire just needs to be rekindled okay Rivers from mm -hmm. yeah, rivers. Yeah. Royal Canadian rum. I don't think it's the strongest. All right, come Actually, this is the first time I'm seeing. It's like an old gun thing. Yeah, it feels like Paris to the Caribbean. <laughs> and again here for some of you, if you put your phone light on the bay trip and get to see the yacht. You can do the bottling at any time today, um, Monday, Tuesday, whichever day of the week we desire, we can start filling the bottles. Our rum is not put into barrels for aging, so it oh, means okay. that the color of this, which is really clear, we call this or term this as the white rum, versus if the rum is dark, it would have mean the same process gets you this, and then later put into barrels and it's accumulated the color from those barrels oh, over a period okay. of time. It. So it's nothing different about the process when the rum changes its color. It's just what you do with it after the distillation. Uh -huh. We choose to consume ours fresh, while ours can store it in barrels and wait for years, and then they have a darker flavor. 
to the flavor and from the barrel itself. From the barrels, so all with spices, spices, caramel, okay. yeah. So for example, whiskey, whiskey has its color and became whiskey because of the barrels. Yeah. It would have started up as clean like this. Mm -hmm. So we'd be filling our bottles right in this room when we, um, on those wooden tables, and you saw those two bottles on yeah. the tables. These are the strength, two strengths that we put out. So one brand rivers, and we use the name actually from the river that has been supplying us with the water over the years, rivers. Mm. And the two strength came about, we've all started off with the rum being extremely strong, 75%. Uh, the second strength, 69%, only came about after 9-11 when it had been um, restricted for you taking alcohol exceeding 70% of yes. the year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how we decide on doing a second strength so that you can still take some home with you. And because they give you up to 70, we do it one less, 69%. Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, in total, two weeks approximately that we would have a product complete for sales, for drinking, after the cutting of the sugar cane. And overall, within those two strengths or the two different bottles that you've seen, we can put up approximately 100,000 bottles per year. Per year. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is all local market. No exports. Yes? Well, yeah, mostly. That amount of ground to shoot outside. So we kind of keep it here, keep it unique. And all in, we have approximately 90 people still working um, five days per week, right through the year. That is, people out in the field, cutting the sugar cane all the way through to the bottom. When did wow. this distillery start? Okay. In 1785. And the process has not changed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, the water wheel would not have been here in 1785. The water wheel only manufactured somewhere in the 1840s. So that means they must have had donkeys or Sorry. moves operating or pretty low. Right, yes. But the actual process itself. Um, Maybe years ago, they wouldn't have used molasses because Grenada would have had a lot of more sugar cane. Mm -hmm. But now there are very little sugar cane left, so we had no choice but to keep the, if not, we'd have been making a lot smaller batches if we choose not to use the molasses. And the franchise, the franchise in anything, Rivers, Rivers Brand? Rivers Brand, yes. From it's always, yes. Mm -hmm. So no one gets the opportunity to go tasting of rum. Wow. <laughs> now that's appetizing. <laughs> yes, you can. Better than the slug. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. Right after we check it and we ensure that we've got the right percentage. Okay. Yes? Uh, because sometimes when you're taking it, it doesn't always be the strength what you're looking for. So the reason that we need to check every batch, uh, the strength that we're looking forward to is 75% alcohol mm -hmm. by volume. Nobody mm -hmm. tastes it. There's a, have you looked at this thing there? there closely? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. There is an instrument inside. So okay. someone has to look at it, and there are figures marked within the instrument. So you're going to read it. You, you mentioned this. No. Just the strength of the alcohol. Mm -hmm. oh. This is mostly consistent. the expression everybody face. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. So you're going to first be served with the 69%, after 69. which you're going to do the 75 And when you do the 69 don't say you're going to pass on the 75 
There is something in there. So this is 69 dollars? 75, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so those who have a cup, how many get you? Yes, cheers. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Oh, I thought we were going to do the You're not trying some? Yes. What? I don't get to do this every day. Right? That's true. Okay. Yes. Cheers. Right. Cheers. Right. Cheers. 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 Okay. Wow. Wow. Mm. Nice. Mm. Yeah. That's a 69. That's rocket fuel. Yeah. I have that fine. You can feel that going down. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> All right, so that was the 69 percent. Yeah. Have the 75 percent coming up. Oh boy. <laughs> it depends, I don't have to drink. Would you like it? You can. If you, you want to put a yes, you put a match to that. You wouldn't want to see what's happening. The reason for the restriction on the apron. Okay. Do we get less? Like, well, well, you could. So you much. could request less. less. Yes. All right. Well, I have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be um, killing all the worms and so forth, opening up the appetite. Yeah. Just clean up my face. Nice, nice Salute. Yes. 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 <laughs> You're not a rum drinker. <laughs> Neither am I, but like, I used to be. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, let's see you do it there. <laughs> oh, that one is like a bit smoother. Yeah. 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 You gotta drink yours? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> So I would say if you ginger want to do maybe uh, ginger ale or yeah. maybe an LLB right. or a good yeah. combination is tin. Tin is a great food drink. Right. So okay. Yeah. 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 We're leaving the Ram Distillery now and we're heading back on the road. Instead of rats, the chickens became the biggest spread. 
They move opposite the mongoose moves in the day and the rats moves at night. They live in the same hole when one gone and the other one gone in, you know. <laughs> they get rid of the mongoose. The evergreen kite, that's a pretty big bird. And the pulpus tree ducks. Freshwater fishes like tilapia, guppy, the sow tail. And the Mozambique breeder can be found in this lake. And the Granny Tang one. Siltation caused by agricultural practices. So, what's the national bird here? Grenada dove. Grenada dove. Yeah, it's an endemic one in the Grenada, a unique bird. Okay. It's um, on the verge of extinction because of um, mankind and where they want to build a hotel down in Mount Hartman. Uh, we have been quite busy. Mount Hartman is also. A sanctuary for the bird, you see? Uh -huh, yeah, right, so right. Again. So if you cut it down, yeah. Yeah. They have no home. They have no home. Yeah, yeah. that's the problem. So, and it says, <laughs> it's on the coat of arms. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the level of the road, be the level of that hill. Oh. So when it exploded, you see the big crater? Oh wow. Yeah, the yes. true crater. Let me back up. Mm. What is that called? Lake Antoine. Yeah. So that's a crater. Over 100 feet deep. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so no one goes under. Well, the farmers. They use it for irrigation purpose. You see around the lake, it's a lot of bananas on the right hand side yeah, and some yeah. citrus. Yeah, that's what they do. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that was a big explosion because I told so the level of the road would be level of the hill. Right. So when it exploded, the lava went right around evenly. Mm. Yeah. So it, beca so it became a for crater. Yeah. And so, and not for drinking water because you know it's yeah. so um, sulfur like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry? When it exploded? Yeah. Between 12 and 15,000 years ago. Yeah. That's when, when it, yeah. On the right, you see the, the islands, obviously, it's really, we cannot see, but we have Aldi Ron and Aldi Kai and Karaku, Yun Island, you know, Bekwe, Kanawan, the Tobago Keys, Intercity. That's the Piton up there. We have a place that we call it, yeah, the Welcome Rock, where you see that antenna is. Oh, okay. And the one that looks like a pyramid. Yeah, that's the <laughs> Sugarloaf Island. It looks yeah. like a pyramid, exactly. Yeah. Sugarloaf. So that's all sugar cane just been harvested out to the right. Okay. That's the new company called King Co. Mm -hmm. This farmer, Bertrand, has to put up cameras, well, fake cameras, and some sign because all this is sour soap. Oh, so okay. them thieves get them real licks because they spent a lot of money. I guess you all are aware, you heard that. Help kill or prevent cancer cells. They all saw us up. They got three because I saw us up on the right, and the pipes all come from the lake. We oh. need to irrigation. You see, right. from the water from the lake. Mm -hmm. uh, ahead of us also is dwarf um, plantains. It's so short they are the dwarf yeah. ones. Yes. He exported this in Trinidad to make plantain chips and so. Yeah, yeah these are all dwarf plantains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. This is all for export and so yeah. Yeah, yeah well, nice feel of sour soft, yeah? Mm. So yeah, that's the old model. The best taste in bread and cakes come from that album. <laughs> Have you seen a mother before? No. Oh, yeah, that's a mother. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, put in the wood and heat it up nicely. Mm -hmm. And then you push, push the wood, breads and cakes in a bag and you seal it. Yes. Every half an hour you take out a batch. That oh, keeps wow. me for, you know, a good two, three days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the best is to come from that mother. Those are the good days. Yeah, so the Americans came down and, and Noah and put uh, sensors on a rock. And then we had Mali back up by the cemetery we have a monitoring center 
the information of goes all the back to St. Augustine in Trinidad because of volcanologists and seismologists are stayed at the University of the West Indies in St. Augustine. So that's where they could monitor from and tell you, but they monitor all the time. But as I said, they can generate a massive tsunami uh, if they keep coming up to the surface. Um, now you can do is right in the shipping lane. Any questions on that? But I have a question. How Go long ahead. you've been doing this? This touring? Uh, I've been 25 years. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. That's a lot. Well, I said, I visit schools. I, you know, uh -huh. school on tourism and environment. I'm a big environmentalist. I co-founded nice. a group called Grenada Green Group. So we were well, had an instrumental in the little laws and then because we get government to help ban single use plastic bag or the ban with handles uh -huh. and handles. Okay. We are forcing government we have the payment of the Little Act of 2015. We have the act but no enforcement. So because we haven't got um little wardens and so as well. So that is in the making now. So let's wait and see. Yeah. You must, you know, you can't just people just litter in the place like that all the time. Like so the act is there but no enforcement. Yeah. So and this Prime Minister is quite clean about it, but he spoke about it more than once. Solid waste, we just start um, installing separation bins, putting bread below the places, people can put the glass, the bottom. Right, so right. Parachevels like one side. It's like right. a normal garbage, you know? Right. Because we use around 50 million plastic bottles every year and not one is recycled all is landfill we cannot continue like that we run out of space 65 percent of what goes to the landfill can be composed in people's backyard so yeah. that's a major issue yeah yeah so we have to cut down a lot of that a lot of choppy and bust and all these things because what you do with it afterwards you know yeah. you must start recycling yeah, you know all I say to the children when you drop on the streets on the drains and the rain takes the plastic to the sea or the ocean the plastics break up into microplastics yes the, the fish, fish are eating eat the plastics we are eating the fishes so right. we see more signs of cancer and so on the island yes yes 40 50 years ago we had no plastics in Grenada everybody used enamel plates enamel cups you wash and use it at Belmont Estate Chocolate Factory and we're going to have lunch first then take a tour of the chocolate factory but if you want to see that you have to stay tuned for the next video I will be putting it into the next video hope you had fun watching this video where they turned cane juice into white rum yes 75% white rum <laughs> yes hope you enjoyed watching that and the drive around we had as well and in the next video, you'll get to see the nutmeg factory slash shop. It's more of a shop as well because it sells jellies and jams and all those things made out of nutmeg. And then I'm going to be visiting the Tower Estates. That place is marvelous. I love it. Yes, it's a house that's built over 100 years. 100 years. I know you're going to like that one. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.